Welcome to the dark side of the universe. On the hunt for the ultimate cosmic monsters. While scientists scan the heavens, advanced computer simulations reveal the strange power of the black hole. Venture beyond the point of no return. Nature's ultimate no man's land. Welcome to our neighborhood. The Milky Way is just one of over a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. And our sun, it's just one of over a hundred billion stars in the Milky Way. We used to think of each star like our sun as a friendly beacon amid the long night of space. Now, we know better. The universe wields violence beyond comprehension. Forces capable of tearing space and time to shreds. Join us now on a journey to the dark side, straight inside a black hole. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Our quest to understand black holes is about to enter a whole new dimension. Tucked into the nose of a rocket is a telescope called SWIFT. Its mission, to hunt for perhaps the most elusive objects in the cosmos. Black holes are so dense, not even light can escape their gravity. They defy detection. But today, hopes are riding high. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition, and we have Scientists are counting on SWIFT to transport them to the frontiers of human knowledge and beyond. How do you find something that hides in the dark? You have to look for its telltale signs. Swift's instruments are designed to record bursts of high energy radiation Gamma rays don't penetrate Earth's atmosphere, but out here in space, Swift's view of them is front row center. They erupt when a black hole is born. That happens when a large star dies in a blaze of glory called a supernova. It's an explosion so powerful it's as bright as a billion, billion suns. What triggers that chain of events is the force that rules the cosmos, gravity. Scientists used to think of gravity as some kind of mysterious power 
that objects like the sun project across space. But what if it's space itself that gives gravity its pull? That's the way one man saw it. To Albert Einstein, space is a bendable four-dimensional fabric he called space-time. And gravity? That's the warping of the fabric by massive bodies. They literally put a dent in space-time. Objects get caught in their groove and simply drop into orbit. Einstein's theory was a radical notion, all the more when taken to its extreme. Just how warped could space get? Scientists found the answer in a singular class of star, more than 25 times the mass of our sun. It's earned its name, a red supergiant. This star will live only a few million years, a fraction of our own sun's lifetime. Deep inside, the crush of gravity sends temperatures soaring above a billion degrees. Lighter elements fuse into heavier ones. Hydrogen becomes helium, becomes carbon, on up to iron. The core grows so heavy, it buckles in on itself. Then, the collapse sends a shock wave roaring out. The star digs itself deeper into space-time as a black hole forms at its center, and the giant goes supernova. When the dust settles, what's left is a black hole, an object a million times the mass of Earth, but a million times smaller. A black hole is literally a puncture in the fabric of space-time. Venture closer, and gravity becomes a riptide. It's like riding a raging river that's pulling you faster and faster toward a waterfall. The closer you get, the stronger the current. You're headed for a point of no return. In cosmic terms, it's called the event horizon. Over this edge, there's no escape, not even for a beam of light. Black holes are gravity to the max, and yet they are altogether commonplace. Astronomers have actually detected dozens of black holes in our galaxy. They estimate there are tens of millions more. But then gravity doesn't stop there. It turns out there's a whole other breed of black hole out there. Peering into galaxies beyond our Milky Way, Astronomers have found that nearly every one harbors an immense black hole at its center. One galaxy steals the show. It's called M87, and it's got a black hole four billion times the mass of our sun. It has left its signature, a powerful jet erupting out at nearly the speed of light. Where does a hole this ferocious come from? 
To find out, turn back the cosmic clock 14 billion years to the beginning of the universe. The Big Bang. Matter and energy rush outward as the universe expands. To learn where supermassive black holes came from, scientists have recreated these early times with supercomputer simulations. They can trace the long, steady process that formed galaxies. From the start, gravity reigns in the cosmos. It draws together the primordial gases. These aren't gentle clouds. As they grow more and more dense, they heat up. Over millions of years, they become hot enough to ignite. The first stars are born. They end their lives in powerful supernovas, while their cores collapse into black holes. Billions of years later, and across billions of light years, Swift is today scanning the heavens for these same early supernovas. It's helping us learn what became of those black holes that formed in their wake. Astronomers believe some grew huge by plowing their way to the centers of their host galaxies, where they gorged on a rich supply of gas and stars. Some black holes grew larger still when they crossed paths with others. This scientific simulation traces the collision of galaxies, a drama that plays out over two billion years' time. The two galaxies become one. The black holes in their centers merge into a single powerhouse of staggering size. The gas hurtling into it gets jammed, heats up, and erupts in ferocious waves. Blast waves from supermassive black holes can stretch for thousands of light years into space. They may lay the framework of the new galaxy, sculpting its size and shape, and stocking it with something unexpected. Black holes may be one of the chief ways galaxies get seeded with elements generated by stars, with carbon, oxygen, and iron, the stuff of solar systems, and us. So, how did our galaxy make out in all this? Astronomer Andrea Ghez wants to know, have we got a supermassive black hole of our own? For more than a decade, she and her team have been coming to the heights of Hawaii's Mauna Kea volcano to find out. Working at the giant Keck telescope, Andrea is tracking a strange presence in the center of our galaxy. A group of stars is swirling around it, and she's clocking their speeds, projecting their orbits. Her telescope is so powerful, it can peer through the thick of the Milky Way, through 26,000 light years of cosmic dust, all the way to the stars at the galactic center. Whatever's got them in its grip, it's accelerating the ones closest to speeds of up to three million miles per hour. 
Given that, Andrea and her team calculate that the culprit weighs in at almost four million times the mass of our sun. Solid evidence that at the exact center of our galaxy lurks a supermassive black hole. Andrea has confirmed the black hole is there without actually seeing it. So we're left to wonder, what's it like up close and personal? We can stop wondering and pay the monster of the Milky Way a visit. There's no spacecraft heading there anytime soon, but that's not stopping us. We'll get there courtesy of the latest telescope observations and computer models. We're just leaving the suburb where we live, about halfway out from the center of the galaxy. The Milky Way stretches before us. It's so large that it takes a beam of light 100,000 years to cross from one end to the other. Next stop, our galaxy's central hub, brimming with stars, known simply as the Bulge. The farther we travel from our quiet cul-de-sac, the more crowded it gets. Up ahead, it's one big traffic jam of dust, stars, and hot gas. And it's always rush hour. Approaching dead center, the way is already strewn with signs of havoc, supernova remnants, and swirling clouds. Our course so far has been charted by astronomers like Andrea. They've plotted the landmarks by how they register across the light spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. But here, their observations reveal a no-man's land, an inner zone cleared by the voracious appetite looming ahead. A cloud of super-hot gas is swirling round it. The black hole pulls the gas in, then spews much of it back out. Now things get really strange. What you are seeing is not the stuff of Hollywood special effects. It represents the first time scientists have visualized the journey into a black hole. Their guide is Einstein and what his equations tell them. Space here is so warped, the black hole acts like a giant lens, twisting the light that scatters across it. At last, we cross the event horizon, the point of no return. But don't expect the inside of the black hole to be dark. Swirling within is a maelstrom of energy and matter. Hidden in the chaos is a single point where the black hole's mass is packed, known as the singularity. 
Now, imagine there's an eye to this storm, magically made calm, so all the strange predictions of Einstein's equations can play out. We'd be greeted by a passageway, an escape hatch in space and time known as a wormhole. Through it, we enter a white hole. Here, the same twisted logic holds in reverse. Instead of being drawn in, all light and matter are flung out. But to where? A wormhole is just the thing for a science fiction character in need of a quick getaway to another universe. Unless the truth be told, the inside of a black hole is too violent a place for a wormhole to actually form, let alone for the likes of us to venture. This is nature's ultimate fury, destruction on a scale beyond comprehension. Or is it? In fact, it's simply the workings of a restless universe. A long time ago, when this black hole was young, powerful winds roaring from it seeded our galaxy with elements. They may have helped form a sun and planets and some beings who could look into the sky and ask, what is a black hole? Our search for the answer is turning up dark mysteries and radiant revelations, secrets stolen from the other side of infinity.